What up guys, Arthur Fall here bringing you a tutorial on how to make a bucket server or have a bucket server in other words or terms on the PC. And I'm sure you already made a, a tutorial on the Mac, but I'm actually going to explain this one a lot better because I'm actually going to be installing everything like if you guys were. So you guys are going to take the tutorial with me and I'm going to take the tutorial with you guys. So I hope I don't lose none of you guys in this video. So like always, I'm going to give you the link to this forum. It's always it's always going to be in the description and this is the Minecraft forums and special thanks to the Archer and I also forgot to mention this on the other video, the credits. Go ahead and feel free to read through all of these because they made an awesome program to help you guys uh make a bucket server the easiest way as possible. So, let's get dive into this episode, I guess you can call. <laughs> So we're going to download the Windows version, obviously, because we're on the PC. So once you click on it, you're going to get this file. It's going to be Windows Craft Bucket Zip. And I'm hoping that you guys have WinRAR or 7-Zip. If you guys don't, go ahead and download it. I'll put a link to uh, WinRAR and 7-Zip in the description. And if you guys don't know how to d download and install it, just go ahead and YouTube it. I'm sure someone will explain it very, very simply. And just download the, the one corresponding to your language that you speak or read doesn't really matter right <laughs> so once you have downloaded like I said it's gonna show up here and I'm actually using Google Chrome because it actually shows you your downloads on the bottom of the internet not internet or the internet browser so double click on it and then uh, just I'm gonna minimize it so you're gonna go and get this crap bucket don't get the one with two dots just drag the one with a uh, craft bucket the one that says craft bucket drag it to your desktop just put it somewhere nice and tidy alright now you're gonna double click on it and you're gonna go to this, the middle one It's gonna say latest craft bucket download you're just gonna double click on it and it's gonna take you to add a flag download once you do that and it'll be down here right it'll tell you do you this file can harm your computer do you wanna keep uh, the file I put you're supposed to just put keep but I already download it's on this side so I'm gonna put discard don't worry uh, I don't even know if it actually harms your computer if you guys don't know don't want to harm your computer <laughs> I don't even know it's just a safety precaution because it's an ad fly file and stuff so once you get it you're gonna go now you're gonna go on this arrow don't click on it because it won't even open go on this arrow is gonna say show in folder you're gonna go there then you're gonna minimize uh, the browser if you do have one so you can dr so you have to drag it all the way to your crap bucket so move to crap bucket once that's done just go ahead and exit out and there it is it's gonna be right in there in the folder so let me just let's say if you dragged it into your folder it's gonna be right there and here it is crap bucket 1.1 r4 and this is the 1.1 if you guys didn't know already so I guess it doesn't work for any other version so <laughs> once you got that done go ahead and click on the crap bucket starter just go ahead and double click on it and just wait until the command so it's gonna be downloading all of these and just gonna have to let it load as you can see here spawning all the area so hold on just gotta wait until all this area is spawned because it actually just creates a whole world for you and that's pretty badass and also like I said on the other video I'm actually gonna make it I guess another tutorial if you guys want me to show you how to import your single player uh, world into your uh, multiplayer or if you guys want to do some fancy editing with uh, the voxel sniper because it's not a single player command it's a multiplayer that's how I uh, added my world so yeah there you go so once it's done it's gonna be warning it's gonna say warning twice and it's gonna say it's gonna say done on the top so once you're done, you're gonna ahead, gonna ha go ahead and put type in stop. Once you do that, it's gonna say saving chunks, and just wait until it says process complete. Or there you go. It's gonna say press any key to continue. Once that's happened, just go ahead and exit out because if you guys don't, it'll kind of uh, corrupt your file and uh, unsave any uh, major projects that you did, and you don't want that to happen now, do you? Okay. Once that has been done you can you see all these files and that's a good thing and these are like plugins if you want to put them in and I'm actually probably gonna make another video showing you how to 
put plugins like the voxel sniper because that is amazing that's a hard gonna be a hard tutorial to explain everything that's <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna do that so we're gonna go on where is the server properties right here we're gonna go on this one it's gonna be text document you're gonna double click on it oh not not the text document this one the notepad what am I talking about the notepad version okay let me correct you guys it's the notepad version and if you guys don't know how the notepad one is the one it's like a I guess a white paper with a little a blue I guess square right so as you can see here you can edit anything you want if you want to allow people to enter the nether you want to I'll explain you the I'll explain the world name I guess that's your world you want to import from yours but that's a hard that's another tutorial so don't worry about that just work all we're gonna worry right now is just to get the server up and running and uh, we're gonna uh, have to get our server IP I use Hamachi you can use your own I uh, guess personal uh, I don't know uh, I guess address but if you want other people to connect go ahead and go to Hamachi some say port forward but that's a whole nother tutorial I just want to do this as simple as possible because you guys want to go ahead and make a online server so we need to go and get a uh, let me just exit all this we're gonna go have to get Hamachi like I said so I'm gonna give you a link in the description on uh, Hamachi if you guys don't know or you can just google Hamachi it'll be the first one so you're gonna have to check um, the conditions of use and go ahead and download it once you download it it'll be this one I already downloaded it I guess twice so we're just gonna double click on it we're gonna run it and just minimize that we're gonna run it we're gonna choose English or any language that you speak or uh, any language language that you really want it to be <laughs> so we're gonna hit next next again uh, yours will probably just say install but I'm gonna put because I reinstalled it uh, once I'm gonna put reinstall current version so it will just tell you all of this it'll just tell you the security if you want this to allow okay yep okay okay yours will just be like that it's a very simple uh, I guess installation so we're gonna go to your uh, programs right here you're gonna hit the start button you're gonna click a uh, type in Hamachi Hamachi there you go it'll be the first one I guess if you don't have it it'll be long me and Hamachi we're gonna double click on that and now we're gonna it's gonna bring up this uh, I guess little window we're gonna put power on and it's gonna be logging in throbbing probing I mean and just wait until it's ready because and also you guys do notice this IP address and that is your IP address don't worry about this if you do make uh, if this is your first time actually making one you won't have this R34 it'll be just all blank and it'll tell you this it'll tell you create a new network this will probably pop up uh, once you if it's the first time you download it if it's not just go ahead and click network and it'll just put create a new network we're gonna put a network ID it doesn't matter this is the ID that your friends are gonna need if you want to join your server with a uh, pretty good connection they can join it but they'll tend to be laggy but I don't know if, if it's a far away friend or if it's just around the in your town don't worry about it I don't think you need to go through this so just make your network ID you can just type in anything you want but uh, I'm just typing anything I want actually but you just put something like a minecraft server then uh password just make something that is very simple that uh, that cannot be confused by your friends so just put hit create once that is done it'll be right here right and then as you can see here like I said you can this is your IP address from the Hamachi now we're gonna go to your craft bucket a folder we're gonna double click on it we're gonna go all the way to the server and this is the notepad version notepad one right remember we're gonna here it is I'm just try to make this as simple as possible so we're gonna see this IP address right like I said that's IP address we have to type into this so it's 5.147.221.154 uh, this IP address is gonna vary from computer to computer because we don't have the same IP address and service provider we probably do but IP address tend to change uh, from household to household so don't worry if it's not the same then we're gonna go file. Then we're gonna go 
save once you have done that go ahead and exit out that and then now we're gonna start the server now we're gonna hit the craft bucket starter and then we're gonna double click on it again and just you can exit out the main folder now we're gonna go log into minecraft because we are gonna test the connection if it actually does work let me see what time I'm running on to this record recording Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna see how long I was recording. But okay, there you go. Just log in, and also just leave Hamachi if you're uh, actually using. Uh, you have to leave it on. I'll just tell you that. Leave it on. Uh, we're gonna go to multiplayer, and uh, don't worry about these. These are the ones I had. <laughs> so once you just go on multiplayer, you'll just hit add server. Just name the server that you want, so it'll be simple. You can say it's my server, uh, my friend's server, anything like that, right? So now we're gonna go to your Hamachi and type in the IP address that you have. So you're gonna go 5.147.221.1. Oh, I'm not even typing. Crap. <laughs> you guys could have told me. Point. One four seven. So right now, just go ahead and type in your IP address because, like I said, it varies from household to household. And five four. Make sure just double check you typed in everything correctly, and go ahead and click done. And just double click on it, and it will probably, if everything goes right, you have created your own Minecraft server. And whoa. Oh, I actually have particles. Never mind. I was gonna say I have particles decreased, and this, this is an awkward seed. My I say my. Wait, I say so myself. Yeah, I thought I have particles decrease, so don't worry about that, guys. Uh, so that's basically it. So once you play around, uh, create your city and all that, or if you just want to get off, you've been playing it for a while, now you're going to see this command thing. Just make sure you leave it on. Make sure you leave it on. Don't exit it out until you finish, until you type in stop. Oh, wait, if you spell it correctly, stop. <laughs> oh, there you go stop it'll say saving chunks and then when it says press any key to continue you can exit out because you're all good so that's basically it on that and you can just turn it off and exit out Hamachi once you're done and that's basically it and also if you guys wondering how can your friend uh, join the server I'll actually make another tutorial because that's a little bit different and you have to tell the person uh, all this information and I'm actually not it's, the video is actually running on for quite a bit so that's basically it. I hope you guys do enjoy the video and uh, so that's basically it guys I'm out peace